What's going on guys, Tosker here, and it's been a while since I made a video, and I realized that I was getting a little lazy, so I decided that I'm going to continue the control portion of the WPF tutorials. So with that being said, I'm going to do a simple tutorial on kind of understanding what uh, the ellipse control in WPF is. And essentially, uh, if you're looking this up, chances are you're kind of familiar in the fact that it's a shape. It's a circle, essentially. So you can use an ellipse to have a circular image or um, just a circle with a filled-in color and so forth. So we'll jump right into just simply going to our XAML and we're going to type in ellipse. And I'll do a closing tag here. And you'll see immediately since we have it in our grid, it's going to fill the entirety of our window. And you also notice, obviously, it's, it is not a perfect circle. And that's also, one, due to our window not being perfect dimensions. And two, our ellipse, since it's filling, itself isn't a perfect dimension. So your intuition would probably tell you that if you want a perfect circle, we have a height. And we can do a height of 200. And then we can do a width of 200. And as you see, if we have an equal height and an equal width, we're going to have a perfect circle. Another thing we're going to want to kind of consider is how do we put a color inside of an ellipse? And your intuition, like I mentioned before, may say, oh, I want to do a background. But you're going to notice, especially if you uh, rely on IntelliSense a little bit, that the ellipse doesn't have a background. It doesn't have a background property. And so you may end up Googling, how do I put a color into an ellipse? And you'll soon find out that we actually have a fill property that is used with an ellipse. And the fill basically accepts any uh, brush data type. So you can use a image brush or a solid color brush. And in this case, we will use a solid color brush so we're going to say fill equals, and we'll simply make it blue. So we have a blue ellipse filled in. You also may want a border, which thankfully we have something called stroke. Now stroke itself is considered the color of the stroke. So we can make that black, but immediately you're not going to really notice much. And that's because like you do with borders, we need a stroke thickness. And we can set this to three. And as you may now notice, we have a thicker stroke and we have it filled in with blue. Now, you also may want to do an image. So if we wanted to do an image, we could go over here to our properties and click tile brush. And it will first generate for our grid background, which is not what we want. We need to select ellipse and then tile brush. And you'll notice it'll take away our uh, initial solid color brush we put in. And that's because we are now using the ellipse fill property and declaring the brush within those tags. So it'll remove that. And we'll also have now image brush. And we could, uh, I wish I had a link. I don't think it's still, uh, is it? Nope. We could just do a URL here. Okay, I had to pause the video and come back because I was irresponsible and was not prepared with an image link. So now that we have one, I'll put this in the description if you want, or you can find any direct link to an image on the internet. And here we're going to do image source and simply input the direct link. And as you see, I grabbed the C sharp image from the Wikipedia or Wikimedia.org uh, where it has the C sharp word mark logo so we have that as well and we still have our border so as we can easily just do an image brush or after all that work I could just cut this and we can say solid color brush and then we can say color again we can go back to just using a solid color brush and be back to what we had before and another thing you want to know too is if you get into WPF binding, we don't really have to be specific in see how here we're using ellipse.fill and then we're stating 
solid color brush and then we would have to do image brush and if you want it to be able to alternate you might be curious as to well am I gonna have to create multiple like solid color brush and then image uh, image brush and then have to bind to that separately and thankfully you don't just so you know we have the fill property and it just needs a brush so image brush and solid color brush are both derived from the brush class so if we wanted to we could say fill and if we had something in the background such as binding uh, ellipse background let's say so whatever ellipse background is we can just simply set it as some uh, brush property in the background and as long as it's derived from the brush class we can set this to a solid color brush or an image brush and it'll automatically set it to the circle so that's another fun thing to keep in mind because it actually I didn't know that right away so I would always feel like oh I can only have one or the other but that's not true so yeah that um, and really I, I'm kind of just fluffing it up here I think it's pretty basic uh, an ellipse is just a shape and you can fill it with images or solid color brushes or really whatever you, you damn well please as long as it's a derived from the brush class and that's really it so I hope that's not too boring for you but you know yeah Okay, well that was just uh that was just my way of trying to get off my ass a little bit and do something even if it's a small task. I still wanted to at least do something and I figured I may cover the ellipse cuz it's a unique control that really uh I don't see mentioned often or used often when surfing the web. So, you know, if you're looking into an ellipse, there you go. You just got the little basics uh if you wanted to watch a video on it instead of reading. Um, any questions, sure, feel uh, free to ask and subscribe, like, or if uh, there's a actual control, I mean, we can go over here to the toolbox, if there's an actual control anywhere that you guys are more curious about, I'd be more than glad to cover it, so you can email me anytime at Tosker's Corner, Tosker's with an S, corner, at Outlook.com, and I'm more than willing to take suggestions on tutorials or videos on things um, do keep in mind I'm currently you know uh, a student myself so I don't want to portray myself as some expert but I'm a firm believer that you only need to be one step ahead of somebody to teach them something and hopefully that that's what I'm trying to accomplish with my channel and my WordPress so feel free to ask me and if it's even something I don't know I am more than willing to put in the time to do a little research on it and then conduct a video for it and really that's it you know for an ellipse video it probably shouldn't be this long and if you haven't left already uh, like subscribe and comment and yeah all that fun stuff